All right, Rice and Shine YouTube. My name is Charlie, and the focus in Ghost of Tsushima will be the player's freedom. The next generation of console gaming is almost there and every day that passes by, more and more people, myself included, looking forward to see how the games themselves will evolve now that the new hardware will for sure open doors and make possible things that the developers were limited to do in the past. Now, in Ghost of Tsushima's case, most likely this will be the last massive title that would land on the PS4, but regardless of the fact, Devs are planning ahead for it by adapting and designing on forward-thinking playstyles. Some sources revealed that as opposed to the majority of many AAA exploration titles, Ghost of Tsushima will be thrown out of the window the idea of map waypoints to exist in the game in order ultimately to give absolute power and freedom to the player. This will be simply achieved by implementing and treating the map similar to the one from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. What this means is that instead of the player to be guided or forced to go to a specific point placed on the map by the game, he or she will have the chance to explore the whole Ghost of Tsushima world totally undisturbed. This explore undisturbed idea was explained in more depth in a old developer diary from Jason Conan, the art director for SP, where he specifically said the following, we really want you to have the choice of, hey, that cool bamboo forest over there, I really want to check it out, I want to head in that direction and see what it is, there's no waypoint. There's nothing that says, go here and look at this bamboo forest. Hopefully we're presenting something that's beautiful and exotic, that's different than the current place that you might be in, and that will come at a world choice. That's your adventure choice. Now, based on what Jason said, since all were mentioned in an old developer diary, I'm taking everything with a grain of salt, and I suggest you do too, so we don't get both surprised in case they will decide to ditch this idea and go the traditional map waypoint way. All in all, I'm really interested and simultaneously curious to see if this idea will eventually become true, how they will make it work. For now, how I think of it, is that we will start exploring places where I reckon we'll always have something interesting like a side mission, such as the one with the monk and the lady with the bow, or a point to witness a breathtaking view, also like here in the trailer, infiltrate an area, free a fellow samurai and liberate a place, this and so many other possibilities. So, one, either this will let us end up in a loop of continuous side missions without progressing through the actual story that doesn't really make any sense, or two, by making these as seem meaningless side missions that we'll eventually manage to read towards the end of the game. Therefore, we might not be guided directly as of where to go and in what order to choose the activities that Jin will take on, but ultimately the finale will be one with maybe alternate versions, as I said. At least for now, that is how I think events will unfold. Obviously, there are so many things yet that we don't know, but I'm guessing more news are about to come in the next few weeks, especially as we're getting closer to the reveal of the highly anticipated PlayStation 5. There you have it, guys. These were all my thoughts regarding today's topic. Please leave your own down in the comment section and let's have a discussion. Also, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more Ghost of Tsushima that is coming very soon. With that said, I really hope that everyone's gonna have an amazing day or night, whatever you're going to do, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!